Lisa, you're watching One Lisa Show, and today I want to share with you my recent Minerva haul, and I want to open it up with you here. Minerva.com is an online, how do I want to say it? It's an online crafting community and um, sewing store. They have fabrics, anything you need, accessories, zips, you can buy crochet hooks, knitting hooks, you can buy fabric. Uh, patterns, you, you name it, you probably can get it if you needed seam rippers, pins, anything. Minerva.com is where it's at. <clears throat> prices, if you live in the States, prices are in British pounds, sterling pounds, but I use a converter on google.com just to get an idea, but it's basically about a dollar, uh, one pound is like a dollar thirty US dollars. The best part is Minerva will ship worldwide free if you make a 50 pound or more purchase very easy to do. I am a member of their craft club so I get 10% off off my total for an entire year. I paid to become a member of the craft club and it actually made sense because I buy enough where I'm saving more than the cost of the craft club membership. And once in a while Minerva has a VIP sale where craft club members will get 20% off their entire purchase. They recently had a VIP sale and I took advantage of that 20% off and went shopping. And part of my haul was covered by a gift card my dear sister Kelly got me for Christmas. So thank you, Kelly. You'll be able to see what I was able to purchase with your um, very generous gift, a Christmas gift. I actually don't know how many bags are coming. Uh, sometimes if your package, your order is big, it's shipped in multiple packages and sometimes it takes multiple days for them to arrive. I placed my order about a week and a half ago and I got my first package today. So I'm going to open this up in front of you and when I get my next package I'll open that and I'll combine these videos into one. <clears throat> so you'll see me in different outfits. Ella Miss Money Penny has just joined. She's been playing with her toy so if you hear a squeak that is Money Penny squeaking her toy. That's just her really enjoying it. Okay. <clears throat> uh -oh. I... Well, this is one of the colors. Okay, I did order a grab bag. And I usually do really good with the grab bags. This was an assorted color, assorted grab bag. So it was five meters for $9.99, basically 10 pounds, and I got 20% off. So it was basically, then it went down to eight pounds for five meters of fabric. <clears throat> it looks like I have some interesting fabrics to go on, but let's open this up first. And they're all kind of beige and cream. I usually do really good. I've never gotten the assorted color one. This is a, okay, this is a stretch, like a gold velvet. Yeah, I'm certain I can do something with this. Kind of has an odd smell, but I think that's the other stuff I'm seeing in the mystery bag. And looks like we have maybe a meter and a half. It does not look like it's a high quality fabric, but it definitely, I know there's things I can do with this. I like to challenge myself with the mystery grab bags and see what I can make every time I get one. This looks like some type of organza. So this might become a princess dress for one of my nieces with that gold, but I'm okay with that fun. <clears throat> and this looks like a type of lining, just lining fabric, which actually will come in handy. And it looks like I have about two meters of that. Just nice, simple lining. And then the last piece that's in my grab bag is like a burlap. So I really don't know what I'll use this for, but it, it's burlap. 
You never know. If you guys have an idea, what could I make with burlap? Um, maybe it would be good as a s inside something for structure. I got some burlap, and it looks like I got about a meter and a half of that. Next up is a Guterman thread. This is the denim jeans thread. I have already made a mess with that grab bag. That is probably my least favorite favorite of all the grab bags I've gotten, and I get a grab bag with every order. It's okay. I'm going to use the lining. I guarantee I will use the lining. Um, the the stretch velvet. I'm sure I can make a shirt or a dress for one of my nieces in that. It's probably not for my favorite color. I got some ballpoint needles. This is one and a half meters of a soft crepe and it is a soft crepe fabric. It's nice. I, I've not sewn with crepe yet so I didn't know what to expect but it's actually very soft touch. Let's see if I get a nice, it's a, a great, uh, it's almost like a periwinkle and I might be able to use that for a nice blouse. So I have one and a half meters of that. And then the next up for today is my two meters of denim for my Megan Nielsen Dawn jeans. Here they are. Very proud of this. I've been looking for this. I've been looking forward to my denim. This is I'm going to put a link. I'm going to put a link to this denim. It is a medium weight and it's, it's, I think it could be a dress. I'm going to go with pants for me. It's a non-stretch. I am very excited about this because it's one step closer to making my own jeans. That's all that was in this bag. I know I have more needles. I have another thread. I have some patterns I got and more fabric. And I'm really looking forward to the fabric that I ordered that's not here today. Okay, we'll check back with you when the next package comes in. Hi, everyone. Hi. Money Penny wanted to pop in. She knows Adam is always asking about her. Paula is asking about her. Trish is asking about her. Everybody is asking about her. She's doing real good. She is so happy I'm home. <laughs> Because I was at work most of the day today. So, how you doing? Now I'm going to open up this bag and she's going to be nervous. Today is my day two of my Minerva haul. My Another package came in. I'm thinking this is the last package. But I won't know until I open it up. Being very careful. Okay. If you hear the rustling of the bag, sorry. On the very top are the two quick sew patterns I ordered. And quick sew patterns are usually $1.99 when they're on sale at our local Joann's. And both of these patterns were not in stock at my Joann's. I actually checked before. For I placed the order on Minerva and they were on clearance for I think two pounds 83 cent or uh, two pounds 83 and then I had the 20% off so I figured it was still a good deal because it would be less than five dollars American so I got this quick sew K4068 this actually I think was showcased on the Minerva website one day and I really did like it um, I love a good cap sleeve and they have two different lengths and it's size extra small to extra large. And basically that goes by a bust of 31 and a half inches to 45 inches. So it's not the biggest uh, inclusivity of sizes. Uh, waist 22 and a half to 37. But in all actuality, I'm thinking I actually... <sighs> I might be able to make the extra small kind of grade it down to fit my niece even, but 
I think it's a cute dress and it will fit in my size range. Probably should show you the line drawings. There we go. I only have a few quick sew patterns and since they're discontinuing quick sew and it's very hard to find them at my Joann's right now, they do have a couple of quick sew patterns at I have two local Joann's. They have a couple of quick sew patterns, each one of them, and they're mostly the, the crafts, whereas I would prefer more of the, the clothing. The other quick sew pattern I got, which I don't know what drew me to this. I do love night uh, pajamas and nightgowns, but this is um, quick sew. K3106 and it is a nice old-fashioned I live on a farm kind of nightgown. It's the dead of winter nightgown and I these can be dressed up they can look pretty um, but nice and simple I like that there's a button detail on the front uh, yoke. I like these I grew up wearing nightgowns like this when we had nightgowns so I like it. I got it. I got it for the heck of it. Um, size range on that is also like most quick sew patterns. They go extra small, small, medium, and large. And it's the same bust of 31 and a half to 45. Um, waist. You know, it doesn't say bust, hip, back, waist, length. But it doesn't give a full waist. And quite frankly, it doesn't matter because the waist and the hip, it's it's a very forgiving huge amount, huge amount of give. So it quite doesn't matter. I think you could go by your bus size. And even then you might be able to size down. Okay. Next up is some top, top stitching thread for my jeans. It's a Guterman thread and I got it for the purpose of making my jeans. The nice good old fashioned color that I think would go great with that denim that I received yesterday in the first part of my Minerva haul. <clears throat> you guys, I love gingham. I love gingham. I've been buying gingham every time I get a Minerva order. I feel like I'm buying gingham. This is a royal blue and I think this was a one inch check. Gingham. Uh, they're this one particular is a polyester blend. I'm not a fan of polyester blend woven except for the gingham. This is going to make a killer skirt. I, I already had it envisioned. I want this to be a skirt. I want it to be a nice flowy gathered skirt. Maybe the Brumby skirt. Maybe um, one that I have in a pattern stash from old patterns. This is a skirt and it screams skirt to me. It's a royal blue and it's definitely a royal blue but I think it could work with so many different items if this is a skirt uh, for your top so you can go with a white top the royal blue a periwinkle blue a corn blue cornflower blue even a, a contrasting color it's possible I'm really excited about this I was looking forward to that gingham okay Next up, <clears throat> something almost fell out, sorry. <laughs> this is, I think, one and a half meters of a very, the colorway is amber, but it looked like golden yellow to me. It's one and a half meters of this that's not coming up as true on screen the color is a more, I wonder if I turn, hmm, it is a more orangey color. This is a little bit more mustard yellow than what it is. I'm trying to see if there's a way I could, hold on. Okay. Okay. So this, I turned off my ring light and this is now more true to, to screen of what the color is. It is called Amber. It is a viscose chalet. I had to think about it. It's a viscose chalet. 
and I got it. I'm gonna turn my ring light back on. Lovely drape. I bought this with an intention because one of my nieces, because I always shop for my nieces, I'm always, I'm always looking for things to make for my nieces. The younger one, eight, going to be eight, stated she wanted a Maleficent costume in golden yellow. So I saw this and I thought this was close to golden yellow. Now, yesterday's haul, which you'll, you have just seen, it's on the same video, had this like thin golden yellow um, velvet. I'm going to make her something out of that. I thought about it all last night in bed, what I could make, different things I can make with for her with that. I have not seen Melissa, Melissa's can't even say it. I haven't seen it, uh, but we did Google. I'm not making her one of those dresses. Sorry. Sorry, Wiz. I'm not making you one of the dresses. I'm not that talented yet. I need more practice. So it, I will be making a dress out of this for her. And I know she'll love it, whatever I do make, but I will make one and I will try to have nice voluminous balloony sleeves and maybe a cuff or collar stand that would really kind of stick out for her but it will be the best I can do with what I know how to do at the time but I'm really excited about that because I think it's a flowy fabric a nice um, roomy kind of maybe like a kid's version of an indigo dress would be perfect for that jeans denim needles something I needed for my Megan Nielsen jeans. Got them. This is two meters of a tartan wool, navy brown cotton voile. Voile. This was an impulse buy. It was super cheap. And I've never used cotton voile before. And here we go. So it is, um, you know, that kind of remind me of fall colors with that navy blue, the tartan look, the brown, the red. I like it. I think there's a lot of possibilities here. It's still cold out if I wanted to use this up right away. But since you know I love gingham, I also love a good plaid. This, I really like this fabric. It is thin. So if you're curious, if you also have never really used a voile, so you can see it's got a sheerness to it. You can kind of see me through the fabric. It's very thin. It does have a nice drape, but there's more structure to this than like the chalet I just showed you. Two meters of this, that was just because it's an impulse. But wouldn't this be a nice blouse or a shirt dress? Might be too thin for a shirt dress. I'm going to find something for this. <laughs> Wait, I may have just found something for this. What do you think? And lastly, so I did get everything in my, in my order in this bag, all my remaining items. This was my splurge. My sister gifted me a very generous gift card for for Minerva for Christmas and this was a splurge. I'm not someone that usually buys uh, expensive fabric unless I feel confident in what I'm going to make. I've only been sewing now since a year and a half maybe at the most. Uh, seriously sewing. This is a Dashwood Studios Rayon Shally and I'm probably going to show it to you wrong. I got some, a nice amount. And you may have seen this print. A lot of people have this print and have made gorgeous things with it. But it is, I'm going to stand up because this is gorgeous. And I've been really looking forward to 
to receiving this because I, I'm ready to make a dress out of this. At first I thought maybe the Sew Over It Penny dress, which is by far, I love that dress. I love how I look in that dress. I don't know if the print is too big for that dress. It might be, but it might not be. And when I say big, like the size of this bird, I don't know if it makes it too big or if that just works better with a ditzy floral or a smaller print. But no matter what, this will be a dress. This will be a dress for spring. I do love the color, so it might be a blouse, but I really want it to be a dress. I have plenty. I have two and a half meters, so I know I can pull off a dress. Oh, it's gorgeous. And since I never buy fancy fabric, and that's what I call it, I do buy fabric. I have bought fabric from B Andrea and Karis from the Beyond the Pink Door. And by the way, they have a sale going on their remnants. So beat me to it because this was my last major purchase for a while until I, until I use some of my stash. And no offense to Andrea, my problem is, is I will go broke constantly buying fabric and I love Andrea and um, I love the, all the fabrics I've gotten from Beyond the Pink Door are amazing. They're probably the highest quality fabrics I have been purchasing. So when I do splurge, like the denim was a splurge and there are a couple other fabrics I have gotten, which I, they're actual splurges to me, but this, it's it feels really, how do I say, it's professional. Like, I feel like this will make a proper dress and it will make a proper statement when I'm wearing it. The drape is gorgeous. The feel on my hand is amazing. It glides. It glides. It's nothing like over here we use quilting cottons for a lot of things for wovens. This is, this is nice. It's almost this feels nice. Thank you for watching my Minerva haul. I hope you enjoyed it. I am very happy. I'm I'm happy with yesterday's, the first half of my Minerva haul. I was so excited. Um, you know, the grab bag this time wasn't awesome, awesome, but it wasn't bad because as my wheels were turning last night in bed, I realized I can still make something that golden yellow fabric was, is perfect for my niece who's on a golden yellow kick and not any yellow golden yellow so that's why I'm saying it it has to be golden yellow and not French's mustard yellow golden yellow <laughs> so I'll tell you and the stuff they say it sticks with me right here I love them so much I hope you enjoyed this video thanks for listening to me if you did like it or have a comment I try to read all my comments and I try to if I see the comment I will respond to your comment if you'd like to see more haul videos let me know video please consider giving me a thumbs up or leave a comment below and if you haven't subscribed I would love it if you would consider doing so that helps people that it helps people find my channel believe it or not with all the Google algorithms out there and I want you to be able to see more things like this if you like this. If, if you like fabric hauls, let me know below. That helps me out too. I love buying fabric. I just wish my pocketbook was never got empty. Have a great evening and I will talk to you guys all again soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.